Hey everyone, I'm CJ, your first guest for Sketchcasts. A few weeks ago, Rafa asked me to show a video on how to make 3D icons in Sketch. Now, here I am, and I'm here to show you. But this isn't a necessarily a step-by-step -step video on making a specific 3D icon. Perhaps that can be an episode later in the future. But for now, this video, I'm going to show you the basics and fundamentals of making a 3D icon. So that next time you feel like making a 3D icon, you know how to start and where to begin. So let's dive right in. If you've ever used a Mac before, and I'm pretty sure you're using one right now, you will see that a lot of the icons in OS X are, well, 3D. Take the iWork suite of apps, for example. Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, each of which have their own representative icon that not only show the user how each of these apps will work, but also look incredibly gorgeous. Basically, like little pieces of art that sit on your OS X dock and look great as eye candy. So, taking a look at each of these icons, which are of course just bitmaps that I've copied from the app, so don't worry I didn't make these. Looking at each of these icons, it looks as if the guys from Apple used some expensive 3D mumbo jumbo modeling software to make each of these icons. Perhaps even the Pixar engine that they use to model each of these icons. If all you have is that elbow grease, uh, creative intuition you, for, from you as a designer, and, well, sketch, I'm here to tell you that you can basically make these sort of icons using sketch. So, why 3D icons? Well, browsing a lot of work on the web, I've noticed that, well, much of the things created in Sketch are basically just website layouts and interface elements. Basically, flat design assets that have been made with Sketch. They're beautiful, simple, straightforward, minimalistic. But essentially, they're just a bunch of rectangles made in Sketch. Sure, of course, it's straight to the point and basically places focus more on the content rather than design. But drawing a bunch of rectangles doesn't really show the power of Sketch. And I'm here to show you that using Sketch is not basically just for drawing rectangles or wireframing, but a whole lot more. Basically two steps up from that one dimensional design. So, 3D icons. Here are a few icons that I've made in the past from my first, and basically this is a timeline of how I've worked through Sketch, basically learning and figuring out what I can do with Sketch to utilize its tools. This is my latest icon, and if you've ever seen this sort of character before, this is Totoro from one of my favorite anime movies. Now, why did I bring up anime? Let's scroll back right here. My first icon that I've ever made in Sketch, well, comes from an anime movie as well. Now, why anime? Let me introduce to you first to David Lanham. If you've never heard of him before, I recommend that you visit his site at dlanham.com and check out his work. So looking at his work here, it's basically a bunch of illustrations, well, cartoons, similar to that of anime. Basically nicely drawn designs or illustrations with some layers, textures, and even shading to look as if each of them were, well, 3D. Of course, they're 2D, but because of the way David Lanham has designed them, each of the illustrations look as if they spring out of the page that they're sitting on. And that's great. So, why am I talking about illustration? Well, in cartoons, the principles of drawing a 3D shape all begins with an illustration. So, you start out with a simple shape, and then you build on top of it some shading, add in the colors, and then you've got yourself a nice looking, realistic sort of, 3D icon. Don't believe what I mean? David Lanham created the symbolic, or shall I say famous, icon for Twitterific, the Ollie Bird. And if you look at this in detail, even though it seems that he didn't use some 3D modeling software, it looks like the icon itself was made basically using just a base shape with some extra elements layered on top of it. And that looks great. Now, 
we can apply these basics, these principles, to designing an icon in Sketch. So if you're used to drawing the flat, uh, well, symbolic shapes, you can also start with drawing some flat symbolic shapes. And that's essentially how you start any 3D icon in Sketch. So let's bring this into a hands-on example. Say, for example, I'm drawing a sphere, or shall I say, I want to draw a sphere. I'm going to use the circle tool, the oval tool, to draw a nice 150 size sphere, 150 pixels in width and height. Normally, so perfectly designed circle. Of course, just looking at that, that doesn't already look like a sphere. What it's missing, and what's key in a lot of 3D icons, is the shading. And that's the secret to 3D icons. So, how do you do that in Sketch? Well, let me just remove the border hill and start with the fill tool. Now, it looks like as if the fill tool, the fill tool is just used for, um, say, just coloring in the shape and the gradients for making a nice button. But looking here already, it seems as if it's starting to look like a sphere. Sort of, but not really. If you do a little tweaking, and change the shape of the gradient to a radial gradient because, well, the object itself is spherical. It's starting to build itself. It's starting to look as if you're sculpting that flat circle into a sphere. So let me zoom out. Now, what does that look like to you but a sphere? That is basically a 3D icon. But, of course, not a lot of icons look like spheres and gradients. So let me examine, let's an analyze the iWork icons, particularly that of the numbers icon. Looking here, it's as if the best way to start drawing this would be to draw the rectangle that is the base of the numbers shape. The numbers, basically this spreadsheet. If you're drawing this on paper, you would then start to give it some depth by adding another rectangle down here and perhaps a nice little thin one there. Now, if you were doing this in Sketch, you do the exact same thing. But because Sketch is more powerful than a pencil, well, in terms of designing on screen, um, you can basically utilize Sketch's fill tool to basically shade as you draw. And that's essentially how 3D icons are made. If you can visualize the shape, or shall I say the silhouette, of what your 3D icon will look like, and then use the inspector panel and the fill to basically shade the shape, you've got yourself a nice 3D icon. It can also be taken step up a notch. Like for example, adding another layer on top of that, changing the gradient to a more uh, transparent gradient manipulating the shape a bit, changing the opacity. It looks as if the sphere itself has some shine. Right? It looks 3D already. And that's essentially the fundamentals of drawing a 3D icon. So if you can visualize, draw your shape, add some shading, you've got yourself a 3D icon in Sketch. So you can take your designs and use Sketch to its maximum potential. Thanks for watching SketchCasts.